afternoon, all of you Days of Our Lives fans. Welcome to AfterBuzz TV's Spotlight On. Um, I am your host, Tony Moore, and as you guys know, over at Dishin Days, we love to bring you current and past cast members to talk about their time on Days in celebration of Days' 50th anniversary, and today is no exception, along with my wonderful co-host, Mark J. Freeman. Hello, everybody. We have the very beautiful, divalicious, <laughs> <laughs> this the Lauren diva of Salem. Well, no, not I, you, not no. you personally, diva, but oh. like you know, your character Kate I, is very I diva. Liked divalicious. You like? <laughs> I, did. I was gonna go all up, but now I can't. <laughs> it's a new no. hashtag, divalicious. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Lauren. I'm so thrilled to be here. Yay. I'm excited. Yeah. Me too. I, I felt like I, I bugged you enough, so I was like, you have to be here now. No, you <laughs> didn't. It was, yeah. we, we chatted back and forth, and we then did. there were long silences. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm in Italy, and uh, we've been playing this for a, while. for a while. Thank you for being patient with no, me. No, no, no problem. Lauren was like, I, I'm sorry, vacation got in the way, and I was like, well, yeah, that's kind of important. Yeah, <laughs> you important. actually did say yeah. that. That's true. <laughs> So we're excited that you're here. Fans you. are excited that you're here. And we're just excited that Days is celebrating 50 years this year. Is That's it's, incredible. It's kind of mind-blowing, yeah. really. Because I remember when we had the 40th anniversary, and that seemed incredible. Mm -hmm. We had a great party. But 50 mm -hmm. years, I mean, it's... I was at the... Um, the nail salon the other day. Um, I was explaining. She said, "What are you on a TV show?" I'm like, "I'm explaining the whole thing." And I said, "It's been on the air for 50 years." She was, "What? <laughs> what? 50 years? How is that possible?" I'm like, "I know. Yeah. It's pretty incredible." Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. People are always amazed that the show has been on for so long, but mm -hmm. I mean, it. it it can't not have with staying power because the fans definitely keep it going and we definitely enjoy all yeah. the things that yeah. happen in Salem because there there is a lot <laughs> that there's, happens there's a lot in Salem. That happened over those 50 years. Yeah. yeah, no, the audience is absolutely amazing. They're so supportive. Uh, they're so into the show, you know, and I think with social media, it's so much fun now because mm -hmm, we yeah. really get to interact. Before it would be at the, like fan events and everything, and you get to meet the fans and talk about it, but mm. now it's kind of ongoing. Yeah. It's like yeah. the water cooler with everyone. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's, it's great. It's now, really good. when you first started on, on Days, um, you actually took over the role for uh, a previous actress who yes. started. Yes, Deborah Adair. Deborah. Yes. Deborah Dare. Yeah. <laughs> was I, I always like to know uh, from from people who take over a role. Was it intimidating going into that, knowing that you know fans kind of are locked in to certain people, you know, in certain. Don't uh, tell people. me that. Well, now, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, listen, if I had known that, I'm not <laughs> Well, now you know you. you now I know. Now you, it's okay. I've yeah, had like twenty okay. plus years yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> but was it intimidating um, for you going into it? Actually. I'm going to say no. Okay. Um, it wasn't because I had come out of theater. And yeah. in theater, I mean, many most of the times you're doing a role that someone else has done. Yeah, you yeah know? That's true. And very rarely do you get to do an original a play. So for me, you know, I was just taking over a role and I really didn't think of it that way. Yeah. But, you know, um, and the audience was pretty responsive. I remember the very first um, Days fan event I went to. <laughs> Everyone was really nice, except like one person came up. It's like, I really don't like you. <laughs> don't like you in the role. And I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Uh, you know, but otherwise, you know, it, it was great. And I think um, I hadn't really, you know, seen the show before. Yeah. So I wasn't um, familiar with Deborah Dare's Kate. You know, I didn't. Yeah. So I tried to get as much information as I could, you know, about it. It was funny because my husband at the time was doing 90210 and, oh, wow. yeah, and Tori Spelling was a, a fan of Days and she was watching. So she would, through my husband, you know, he's a makeup uh. artist, I got the information from Tori about <laughs> Kate Roberts. Yes, yeah, <laughs> You know, <laughs> and she explained, she said, well, she's not really bad, no, but like, she's not really good yeah, either. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, mm, okay. Well, I will say this. I was very upset when Deborah Dare left and I was like, who is this new person? Oh, there, see, there you go. But I will say this, and I'm not, I'm not saying this just because you're here. Because I'm sitting next to you. Because I, and Tony knows, I'll tell you. If, ask yes. Molly Burnett. Yes. Anyway, uh, um, <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get real. There, yeah, there's a story there too. Uh, there's okay. a story there too. Um, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. And then when you, you were first on the boat, the fish boat and oh, stuff, the fishing boat, yeah, and I was like. I don't know. I actually think I'm not upset with this recast. Like, I literally was like, I think I might actually like this new oh, Kate. So, yeah, you I had me from the beginning. I love yeah. Thank you. 
Well, you have Did always we? been my favorite. <laughs> that Billy Flynn kiss you. I, 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 I messaged him. But then I thought, I don't want to rip <laughs> I messaged her and said you were going to be here, and I said she's my second favorite. Because, <laughs> you know, with him, I have to say I understand. Yes, I understand. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, you were always my Kate ever since I started Thank watching you. Days. And okay. I watched, I started watching Days by accident because I was the guy that was like, I don't get soaps. What is this? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. whatever. And then I watched one episode of Days. And by the third day, I was on the phone with my family friend, and I was like, who's this person? And why is she locked in a cage? And why is he so upset? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> I need to know. Yeah, but but Kate was always that that character that you love to hate. hate like yeah. there were moments where you're like, mm, I get where you're going, and there are times where you're like, Come on, Kate. <laughs> I can't go there with you. Uh-uh. Can't go. What has it been like for for you playing Kate? Like, what what do you enjoy most playing? Well, Kate? I do love Kate. Yes. <laughs> Wherever she goes, I do go. Yes. Um, I think it's because she she is. A mystery, you mm-hmm. know. It's just like not black and white with her. Yeah. Um, she, she, she often is doing the things that many of us would like to do, but mm-hmm. feel like we can't do, yeah. we shouldn't do, you know. And that's so much fun to play. Yeah. It really is so much. And you know, she could be a real bitch, and yeah. you know, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> we like that. Oh, we yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, it's great. So I get to get out that bitchiness on yeah. screen, sometimes off screen too. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, and get paid to do it. So. Yeah. Now, we we know that that Kate is very loving of her kids on the show, and she will do anything for her kids, including poison people or nearly kill Mm, them. (laughs) Every once in a while. It happens. It happens. It happens. Now, you yourself have have kids. Are you that protective over them? I don't poison (laughs) people, (laughs) but I do. Um, But yes, absolutely. When I first started playing Kate, you know, she did have adult children. I think Philip was a baby. Yeah. 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 Yes, he he grew up overnight. (laughs) But, um, you know, my children were, I think, five and seven when I started this show. But I mm-hmm. definitely use that, that that mother instinct, that mm-hmm. mother courage instinct, you know. Yeah. You have about family, and it's, it's all about that, you know. Mm-hmm. And for over the years, um, certainly her involvement with them has changed because she's yes. pretty much full-time into their lives yeah. <laughs> in the beginning. I mean, it was all about that. Yeah. But for me, um, I kind of segued into that she really believes in creating a dynasty mm-hmm. and an empire yeah, if you will yeah. um, with her children and for her children mm-hmm. you know and I really feel that that's what drives her yeah. you know she wants to be the matriarch of the empire yes. she wants to be the godfather or yes. godmother I mean she yeah. really does yeah. and um, and she wants her kids all there as part of it now a lot of them have actually left the country because <laughs> of that but um, <laughs> she still holds out hope yeah yeah so very interesting relationships with the kids because it, it seems like you you have the best intentions for them. But, I totally. But yeah. they don't see that. They're like, they go. stop butting in. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> like, like, leave I'm us alone. Like butting in. You know? <laughs> and the other thing used to bother me because people used to say, oh, she's always meddling. She's a meddling mother. Yeah. But I thought, you know, if it was a man, if it right. was the father doing that, mm-hmm. we wouldn't put it that way. No. Yeah. You know, we'd really put, we'd see, oh, yeah, he wants yeah. the best for them. Right, he's right. protecting yeah. them mm-hmm. or yeah. he's you know, making it happen for them. And I feel like it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's sure. really it really is the same thing. So that's the only thing that got a little testy about. <laughs> <laughs> The meddling word. Yeah, but it's it's so great to see such a a powerful woman mm-hmm. on the show, and I feel like Kate represents that so much. It's like you walk in, and it's like you just exude this like powerful woman. And I think that sends such a positive message out oh, there. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah you know, and we we we've been on the light side about it, but actually, over the years, I've heard so many times from women, especially young women, mm-hmm. who it's it's not that they want to do the things that Kate's doing, right? Right. Know, it is right. a little over the top, yeah. but it's just feeling that empowerment, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. feeling empowered, feeling okay that you may be different from other people, mm-hmm. that you may be one of the others, you right. know, to a degree for some people who feel like outsiders, you know, that it's it's really not important. You know, yeah. you need to, f- you know, follow your truth, your bliss, what you need to do, yeah. you know, and exactly. be okay with yourself because Kate's kind of okay with herself. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah you know? she definitely is. She's okay with definitely herself. Definitely okay with She's herself. She's definitely a woman that knows herself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now, I was going to say, um, one of my other's favorite on daytime was yeah. your daughter, Lisa Rinna. 
Oh, yes. yes. My billies. You're see, do you the see billies. a trend with me? It's I the billies. Do. The, the billies. <laughs> There's these constant connections with, with Mark and billies. I've yeah. noticed and that. And so I was just going to ask you about working with Lisa Ray. Oh, it was great. I know there were several billies, but we she's the only billy to me. I, under, I understand. <laughs> Sorry. I totally understand. And, um, yeah, it was great because I got the champ. I'm trying to think it was three times or twice. She's you been back know. a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. I think she's yeah. been back three. Three. Like the three first times. time and then two other times. Two yeah. other times. Yeah. 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 And um, it was really interesting because our relationship grew from the first time. Because mm -hmm. the first time it was like new for me yeah. to have her there. Because mm -hmm. as, um, as uh, Krista Allen had been my first. Right. Oh, first okay. Billy. Yeah. And then um, when Lisa came in, it was, it was like new because you have like a new child. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then this past time when she came back, it was really cool because we found a new place that they both are, you know, adult women. Mm -hmm. And we found, uh, you know, a connection for those characters because yeah. so, much t so many times they had just been at odds. Yeah. And, and um, we really wanted to find another place for them because they yeah. are adults, you yeah. know, and it's yeah. like accepting and there was love. And I, I love, even though it was sad when she was leaving, I loved our final scene because mm -hmm. it, it was kind of about that. Yeah. You know, I love you, but, you know, I can't be with you. Like, yeah. another one I went to France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but she's she's a great woman. She's yeah. just a great gal. Um, we had a lot of laughs. Yes. Yeah. yeah, beautiful woman. Now, a, another uh, part of days that everyone enjoyed was when Kate and Sammy finally oh, joined forces. Friends, yes. And uh, my favorite part of all was the photo that was yes, replaced. The replacement. Like, the yeah. replacement of Stefano's photo that was like this, and then all of a sudden it was like Kate and Sammy, and I was like, well, look at them taking over. <laughs> yeah, like, I loved it. That's right. Like, oh. how was it for, for you, like, finally being able to join forces with Alice and Sweeney and work together and not, like, against each other? It was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we had been talking about it for years. Mm -hmm. Even maybe a decade <laughs> <laughs> of how fabulous it would be if we ever got to team up yeah you know yeah. and there's yeah there's so much alike everyone knows that yeah, we kind of yeah. hate each other because yeah. they know that oh and it's just like that yeah. so when it finally happened i mean we both were so grateful we're yeah. so so excited i mean it's one of my favorite storylines yeah. i mean yeah. hands down um in terms of the photo we knew there was <laughs> this photo thing was coming up and i think originally they thought you know it'd be kind of charlie's thing Angels kind of were like, yeah, yeah, yeah in there. Yeah. And we're like, no, <laughs> no this, is, this is a big moment, moment man. Yeah, they yeah. would love this. They would want to own this. You know, yeah, we're yeah. thinking about the Vanity Fairs, like the Annie Lebowitz kind of photos. Mm -hmm. We need a like a all out glamorous diva photo. Yeah. yeah, you know. So uh, Richard Bloor, our costume designer, was great. You know, he put together those outfits. I mean, I think I just, I think my skirt was just kind of like fabric, like yes. around. <laughs> you know, and it was really great. Um, it, it was so much fun just doing. The shoot because I said that that's what I was thinking. It was like they probably had As the best blast. time shooting. That. We did, you know, and at the time we kind of knew it was going to come to end and yeah. everything. Yeah. So it yeah. just, it was so, it, it meant so much. Yeah. It, it really did. Yeah. yeah. I'm just wondering where that photo is now. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, if painting, they brought painting. back the Demira mansion instead of just I a little know. closet a study. for to be I DC. Know. <laughs> but I was very happy that the Brady Pub is back this week. But oh, we'll good. get to that next yeah, week. Yeah, it is. Good. It's, it, yeah. it's nice okay. to see a lot of these old sets coming yeah. back. And I forgot before we go into further. Yes. I totally forgot and somebody cr um, texted me or tweeted me yesterday when I said you were going to be on the show and they said, Mark, don't forget what you said you would do if Lauren comes on. And I totally forgot that I, I would wear my blue your streak. Blue streak. <laughs> <laughs> I totally oh. forgot I would wear my clip-on blue streak. Thank you. While Lauren's here. Yes. So now I got my blue streak. <laughs> on the same side. Now, um, unfortunately, <laughs> I could not get a blue streak I in really, my I hair. I feel at home now. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 blue streak freak right here. There's the blue streak. Oh, well, I couldn't, I couldn't clip it in. I, I had... <laughs> Okay. And clip like, it to your headset. Right. Well, you know, everything came so sudden. Like, Lauren was like, yes, I'm available. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't grow my hair out of time. Oh, my and, God. And I was like, what, do I tape it? Like, you, know. <laughs> you had had more preparation. Exactly. I okay, I feel well, it. Well, I'm glad that like she reminded nice, me because yeah, I yeah. totally yeah. forgot that I had it. I, I clipped in a wig. <laughs> Lovely color, too. I know. Right? Yeah. I know. No, it matched it, the outfit. It's yeah. like... Uh, <laughs> well, speaking of the the, yes. the blue streak, like yeah. that came about and it um, became so popular. Like, what? How, I but I read that, did I start but it? But I read that Joe didn't like it so much. Is that correct? Uh -oh. <laughs> so true. <laughs> 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 well, 
What are you doing? <laughs> What did you do to your hair? <laughs> no, I, he, he really. <laughs> the black nails, the blue yeah. hair. Yeah. Um, it, it was funny, and I guess I have told this story. I, I love Joe. <laughs> um, when I first did it, I kind of kept it hidden. Yeah. You know, it's like this, and it would be like a little flash. You get a flash every once in a while. <laughs> and um, no one really noticed it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I had my hair up for scene with Joe. Yeah. And um, I came on set. <laughs> and, and our executive producer at the time um, was on stage. You know, he's <laughs> and Joe's like, "Oh, they're going to see that now. They're going to see your hair." And he says, "Look at this! Look at this!" <laughs> and the executive producer came over. He said, "Can you see her hair? Tell her." And he's like, "Oh." He said, "We should probably put a line in about that." <laughs> <laughs> it's Thank season. You. Thank you. It was really. It was no, really I loved nice it. I, and it was funny because the first couple of times I was like, "Is it my TV or it's her hair blue?" <laughs> like I couldn't figure out at first. I'm like, "I think her hair's blue." Yeah. yeah, yeah. I put it in during that period when Kate was going through a hard time. You yeah. know, she's just well, like poisoning brownies, poisoning yeah. apples, all of that. You know, and it it, uh, it was she was kind of. A little cray cray, yeah, yeah, you know, and I think she actually was. I think she was having a type of psychotic breakdown. That's how <laughs> I justify it, yes. <laughs> and uh, so it kind of represented, you know, that the wild side, the wild side. Well, it has definitely it taken represents off. my wild side, for yes. shizzle, yes, yes. <laughs> and my wild side. Although I have I little curls in my you, did have curls. I, I don't very... know about the curls. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to work if on that If you saw later. the whole wig and with it looks it, it, it looks, looks good. It, makes yeah. sense it looked with the good with the rest of it. Yeah. Well, now I just feel like you know the little engine that couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> If I have and some dark blue, like yeah, like yeah. I like we could do like little like, like, like oh it. maybe that's what I should have just got spray and just, just went a spray. Should have done a just blue the spray. Streak. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. See, I don't know. I'm, kinda, I'm a little things. disappointed because you did have I'm, almost 24 hours. I know, I know. <laughs> but it was like th there was so much happening in that 24 hours. Yeah. It was like I got the t the Not direct come message. To sleep. Yeah, and I was like, oh <laughs> my god, I got I gotta prepare, and I got oh my gosh, like she's coming in. What do I do? Oh, that's so last minute. That's why I was glad that that person tweeted me because I was like, oh my god, my husband's like. I pulled this wig. <laughs> like, what are you doing? And I was like, I was like, I forgot. I need this. Uh, Lauren's gonna be our guest. And she's got a. He was like looking at me. I'm like, forget it. I'm Never mind. Explain it to you. Yeah, well, makes sense to me. Speaking of like trends and fashion and stuff, Kate is very fashionable on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like every time Kate loves fashion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and you studied fashion. You Lauren, studied uh, Lauren loves fashion. Costume. Yes, I was a I started yeah. out as a yeah. costume designer. Yeah. yeah. So did you have influence on like? Kate's like attire and how she dresses and her style on the show, or did that just kind well, of come about? From that definitely, ev you know, evolved over time. You know, we have a wonderful costume designer, mm -hmm. Richard Bloor, who who totally um, indulges all my <laughs> fantasies. <laughs> I mean, he's really great. Yeah. And um, you know, when I first came on the show, I was like kind of a mate. I think she was a little more conservative yes. when I first came Much, on the show. Yeah. Was, Deborah Dare was definitely more conservative. Yeah, it was yeah, more conservative. Yeah. So, you know, slowly my little bit of creep <laughs> came creeping <laughs> in. Which we like. Yeah. Which we like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we would, Richard and I would joke about it. I could. I think he could see early on that I was maybe going in another direction. <laughs> 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 you know, and so he would start tempting me. I mean, we had such a huge, <laughs> we had a huge uh, budget for wardrobe back then. Yeah. And he would bring in some great stuff. I mean, <laughs> it was just like, oh, can I just wear all of it? Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it was fantastic. And I think that's when we really established her, yeah. you know, her clothes. I mean, she loves couture. I mean, she's just mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know. And um, and now, you know, we, our, we, <laughs> our budget is lower. You know, yeah. and he does an amazing job because he has to like, get out there and really, really you yeah. know, look and find stuff. And Kate also has an enormous wardrobe. I kind of... You know, I was a pain in the ass. I insist on <laughs> like, keeping everything. You know, I don't want, don't get rid of it. Don't get. So what we'll do is we'll go down to Kay's closet, just like you know ah, every human nice. being would do. You yeah. know, and we'll pick out stuff from over the years. You know, now I can use this and I can update it with that. Yeah. And, you oh, know, that's so great. it's really fun. Yeah. That's oh, nice. great. I like that. I like hearing that. that yeah. yeah it like, shouldn't be new clothes I, every and day. I, no. And I used to, I say that about just regular TV shows all the time, like Friends and stuff. It's mm -hmm. like. You're living, I mean, none of them really had that great of jobs, yet Hello. they had a new outfit every time. That's yeah. what I liked about 
the Golden Girls. <laughs> they were Rose the always club. wore the same sweaters. Mm-hmm. They always wore the same we robes. Do, people night. know those things and like that. And I, well, I do. I don't know about everybody else. But, well, um, no, trust me, but I love that, <laughs> that you do that because that yeah. makes me happy. Yeah, yeah. I, think it's re- I think it's really good. Good, good way to do it. And plus, it's fun. And yeah. plus, there's just, we have an amazing, I have an amazing amount of clothes and yeah. gorgeous stuff. Some of us right. vintage now have been on <laughs> so long. But, you know, that's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and people will notice, like, when I'm re wearing a piece or a mm-hmm. whole outfit or whatever. But the, What yeah. if uh, Allison Sweeney wants to borrow something? Would you say yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Ali, I would say yes. To Sammy, no. No, there you go. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, did you ever imagine that you would be on the show for for this long? Like walking in on that first day, did you ever think? That no, I mean, no. I I don't. You don't even think in those terms, yeah. you know. And most of your gigs are, I mean, are pretty short lived. I mean, yeah. for um, daytime, you know, dramas is a little different because obviously they go on. Yeah, they go on and on. Yeah. But you know, the things that I've done were much shorter you know are you yeah. doing an episodic or you know guests are here and there so yeah. you, I just never thought in those terms never yeah, you know yeah. and then when you f- hit your 10 year mark right like, Wow, <laughs> that's amazing! And then after that, I mean, I think you're just working and you're not really thinking about mm-hmm, it, yeah. you know. But when I look back or when I mention this to people, they're always, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, but it's, that's what's so cool about what we do too. That's another cool thing is that it is like a a regular job. It's yeah. a real job, you know, yeah. that has some longevity, and that's a gift for an actor. For sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Because yeah. I mean, Kate has been through so much in the past. Years that that you <laughs> that you <laughs> like what what has been your your favorite storyline of Kate's? I know there there's been so many, um, but like, is yeah. there one that really sticks out for you? That's like, man, that was a fun time for for you yourself. Yeah, you know there. But certainly this one with Sammy and Kate was yeah. a huge one because it was the culmination of, yeah. Yeah. of, of so much story. Um, and it's funny that you, when asking that question because over the years it kind of changes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like and now it. in retrospect, I mean, looking back, I think the story that kind of resonated the most overall with everything was when she the huge blow up with Victor when he kicks her out of the mm-hmm. house oh, yeah. this huge you know she burns down the mansion yeah. and Lucas is burned <laughs> Oops, and my son's in there <laughs> I, was, I didn't know that's true I didn't that's know. true I will testify you, you know it's no. really true you know and she she ends up with nothing yeah you know she's living out of her car mm-hmm. she's dumpster diving yeah. I mean and then she got the job as a waiter yeah. you know and I remember a little bit some of the haters that were saying um, oh yeah she'll never survive that oh you yeah, know She's out of there. And yeah. it was like, I loved it that they wrote that, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm a waiter now. Yeah. I can, I can yeah. handle that. You know, and that's Kate. Whatever. I'm just yeah. going to deal with it. Because who knows what, I, I don't know what she came from. Oh, I have my ideas. Yeah. But, you know, she could, so that turned into a favorite story. And then, like, her involvement with Roman, mm-hmm. you know, this cowboy kind of the guy yeah. comes into her life you know and he's such a good guy and she's such a bad girl yeah you know and how that all works so i think in some ways that's one of my favorites yeah, yeah. and lots of leading men that yeah Kate has, has i actually wrote down of all your last names oh what you are did. they <laughs> Really? Well, there weren't that many. There weren't as many as I thought. I was like, well, maybe it's just the she, same people over and over again is the problem. Because she didn't really get married. <laughs> right, so exactly. Her name didn't really, really change. Uh, but I didn't remember her. Do, do you remember her her first, her original name, like her when she first came on? Was it? No. Wait. Not? It wasn't Reed. No. What was it? Winograd? Winograd. I read really? That. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. And then Brown, because you married Curtis Brown, right? It wasn't Cur- no, Curtis. No, Curtis Reed. Reed. Curtis but there was Reed. a Brown. Yeah. Oh, I guess Reed then too. Well, were you married to Reed? Yeah. So I guess I missed Reed. I was yeah. thinking Brown was Reed. So it was I Kate Reed. It really was Kate Reed. I always think of just Curtis, and I don't think of that. See, I don't know. No, Reed. Roberts. I thought. He was and then Curtis. Roberts, and then Kiriakis. Wait, 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 where did Roberts come from? Well, from what I read, um, the character Kate. Changed it to Roberts to yeah. hide Reed. The, the fact that oh is it Reed or that she was a Winner. prostitute? Excuse me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> a Excuse working me. professional. <laughs> working professional. <laughs> we like to call ourselves call girls. Call girls. I'm sorry. You call me a girl. Come. <laughs> I think reading up on, on the character, Kate, I think that's why. Or maybe it was for Curtis. That, I can't remember. I don't, I, but I don't. I don't remember the Winograd 
at all. Where did Rhythm Is that her real name? That's the original I want, one. Yeah, I, I think want that's a her history. Original. Yeah. I feel yeah. like there's like an incredible. Well, I had to do the. I need some They have like right. about things about all the characters. Really? And, I, and yeah. actually, I'd forgotten that you were a waitress too. And I saw that on your job, the list of jobs. Like, yeah. Oh, that's right. She was a waitress. Are they just in it so I have to go back and forth. Yeah, they didn't have Reed on there. And I added Brady because you did marry Reed. I did. I did marry Reed. Yeah, I did. I was a Brady. And then Demara and Kiriakis. And then I did marry. Yeah, so I've been married three times. Yeah. yeah, that's not bad. So I guess Reed is the only one I missed in there. But Reed, Kate let me, Reed. Yeah, because I th- grad. Yeah, I think yeah, she came I think it in. Said it, Where did I, I come could probably from? Probably even pull that up. Because I, I, do you think I'm a princess? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, you are. (laughs) It says, um, well, I'm I'm looking at Wikipedia. I don't know how how true Wikipedia can be, but like they said. Well, we can change it, right? Right, exactly. (laughs) What do you want it to be? (laughs) They said when uh, when the character was first introduced back in 1977, when Elaine Parisi, I think that's how you pronounce her name, played the role, it was Kate Winogrand. 77? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I never knew this. You never knew I'm that? I'm so glad. Oh, yeah, I came to After Buzz TV. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, and then um, she, the character was reintroduced in 1993 Three. with Deborah Adair. With, okay. And then, um, and then in 96 is when you came along. So mm-hmm. when she had the affair with Bill Horton, mm-hmm. she would have been the Wintergrad. Yeah. yeah, I think so. So let's, oh. I'm, I'm scrolling through. Yep, there's that affair. And so that's where that's Lucas. A is a Winograd. Winograd. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you tell them. We'll let you tell them. I'm really excited about this. Now you have something to tell them at work tomorrow. <laughs> That's true. I feel like I, I can't I can't remember where I saw where she changed it to, to Roberts and I But that was, I kind of remember that that maybe yeah. that she did change she it. Like Says she was a remember. doctor? What? Yeah. She came in as a Someone doctor. Someone just said she was a doctor? She was Dr. Kate Winograd. And, I'm and a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you worked at you worked at Salem U uh, at Salem University. Who would have known? Yeah. <laughs> so Doctor Dan and I had more in common than just yeah. Yeah. Than you knew. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Um, to the development. That's all Doctor Dan really had really true? in common with. He <laughs> 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 just went hop from bed to bed he around did. Salem. He did. Do- I'm a doctor. Say, yeah. I think people assume Kate Winograd and Kate Roberts were the same character because Kate Winograd had an affair with Bill Horton in the 70s, but Kate was a doctor. Oh, so maybe that so maybe, is, it's, maybe a, it's a different. But it did list Winograd when I pulled up Kate Roberts. I would on like. The I would like thing. to. Have- to be a doctor, yeah, I'd right? like to have that in my bag of tricks. So you yeah. need to go back and tell the writers, like, "Hey, I, I was go a back. writer. Let's like Kate Winograd. get this going. <laughs> oh yeah, make they, this happen. They had all the names over here too: Winograd, Brown, Kiriakis, See? Brady, Demera. Yeah, yeah, yep. Wow. But no read. So maybe she History wasn't brought to you by AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> <laughs> we need James, James, we need James Lott Jr. for this. He's our history buff. James Lott Jr. Shout out to James Lott Hi, Jr. James. who will be hey, watching James. later. Um, he's our other co-host for Edition oh. Days. And he's like our days historian. So oh. like he he knows how people are related. He knows like storylines from before even when we Creepy started shit, watching. But I'm yeah. like, how do you know this? Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. I need yeah. to talk to him. Yeah. Because you know when you have a lot of storylines, you forget them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that's why I always do that. There, they have that about the characters on one yeah. of these websites. So I, every time we have somebody, I'm like, I need a refresher course because oh, I don't I'm remember sure. everything. Yeah. I kind of like what's happening in the now. Yeah. <laughs> Other I, than my Billy Reed. I well, of course, Aww. or Billy Flynn. Um, or Billy. No. <laughs> Hi, Billy. <laughs> that's when Billy and I always talk about that. I really think that. Kate is his mother. Yeah. Of course, no one else thinks that. Yeah. But we think that wouldn't that be cool? That would be so cool. It would be kind of cool. Just, I would go It'd be kind of cool. Because that whole thing with Madeline, the whole mother yeah. thing, and that something was going on. Yeah. I have. I don't. I even think I have a thing for your child. I know. <laughs> that's I that's what I'm saying. Well, I have to tell you my Lucas story. This is proof. When, <laughs> this is proof. When he when he first came on, I had a little crush on Lucas. Oh, everyone he, has a little crush and on Lucas. I had just moved to LA, and one of my best friends who also watches Days. He's like. He, for some reason, because he does this stuff and I don't pay attention to any of it, he's like, Brian Dottillo's going to be at Macy's signing stuff. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, no way. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. But I was too scared <laughs> to go up to <laughs> So I literally just walked around Macy's <laughs> pretending I was shopping. Like, I kept, like I'm like, he's going to call the police on me because I'm just walking around staring at him from afar. I think I even took a picture like from far away. And yeah, Aww, I was a little that's crush. A, that's a crush. Well, Tuttle. Brian Dottillo is one of the like coolest oh, guys man, that you Oh man, he's, he's fantastic. I love yeah. my Brian. Yeah. I love my Brian. No, he's great. He's yeah. a great guy. I kind of dig all your he, kids. He, he, 
<laughs> I'm <laughs> noticing. <laughs> that's and uh, Jay Chad. Johnson too. He was a uh, Jay. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh Jay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love Jay. We're both Pisces. So ah. We had a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, which, because, uh, I mean, with all the men that, that Kate has been with. <laughs> which he says <laughs> in the nicest way. That was really nice, yes. I say, I say the in the sweetest I've way been possible. With. Yes. yes. Um, which one for you, which pairing for Someone you else was just the, the most enjoyable? Yeah, like, because I think for me, it was, I, I don't know, I love you and Victor I together. It's something Victor. about that. Nothing complete. Yeah, it's, it's, really? it was really oh my good. God. Yeah, I just every day I pray that they get back. <laughs> it's really, you know, it's so funny you're saying that. <laughs> because that wouldn't normally have been my answer. But mm-hmm. as I'm saying, you're yeah. kind of looking back. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really great relationship, yeah. really yeah. dynamic. And even after they were no longer together, I would love the scenes that we yes. have together because mm-hmm. we're going over yes. there. And I swear to God, we should both have cigars. Yes, yes. and just be there yes. and talking. I mean, it was. Uh, there, there's just a connection between those two. Yeah, you know, and I feel like she loses none of her. Po- the rest are always like trying to take away her power mm-hmm. and all that. And he's not, you yeah. know, not that he doesn't go up against her. Yeah. Right. But you know, they're just they're equals, and it's mm-hmm. you know, I I love their scenes. They're always well written. Yeah. The, on- so the witty. only other one that I was like, I really was kind of hoping for was Ian. I when he came on, I was like, "Yes, finally someone great for Kate." I know. I was so happy, and then that kind of went. I love that too. I really loved him, and I thought you guys together was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, He's so elegant, and I think that was. And there was the hints of this whole mystery, this like Mm -hmm. life they had in Europe, because I don't know if Mm -hmm. they were talking about Lucas, and that you know he taught Lucas how to ski and all Mm -hmm. of this stuff. And I thought, "Oh my God, is he Lucas's father?" (laughs) (laughs) You never know. You never know. know. One phone call. One phone call call changes. Yeah, so I really thought that, you know, I know. I, yeah, I, yeah. And Ian Buchanan, oh my God, he's yeah. such a joy to work with. He, yeah. He's just so great, he's so funny. Yeah. Since he's so elegant, though. I just yeah, I such love such that. Yeah. yeah. Now, of course, Days wasn't your first uh, intro to daytime. You were also on Young and the Restless and Bold and the Beautiful. Yes. Um, how did those roles differ from Kate? Because you played Lindsay on on Young and the Restless, and, the Lessers, and, Mar- and Margot on uh, Bold and the Beautiful, which you originated the role of Margot. I Margo. did, um, and Lindsay. Yeah, and so how was how was that uh, compared to coming on and playing Kate? So long. Ago. So long. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, Lindsay was amazing because yeah. that was my first role. So yeah, when I first did. came out here, and it was like crazy, you know, getting it. I was Ed Scott actually attended <laughs> um, an acting class that I was in at the time, you mm-hmm. know, fresh into LA. Yeah. And uh, he asked me to come in to audition for a role, and everyone's saying, "Oh, this is never going to happen." I mean, oh, what are you talking about? You know. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and I went in, and it, it was. I mean, it's just my first time for everything for that mm-hmm. kind of an audition. It was mm-hmm. all these people, and it was. Like, and I, you know, I got it, and I just, uh, it was amazing, and getting to work with Terry Lester, mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys remember Terry Lester, Jack Abbott, who yeah. was, oh, yeah. was an incredible actor, yeah. such a great actor, it was such a gift to work with someone like him, yeah. I mean, he, I think, really originated that bad boy, yeah. Yeah. you know, and just his whole style of acting was, uh, was was fantastic and um, it was a great storyline. Yeah, you know, that was yeah. a crazy. I got plunked into the middle with all those people. So um, I did that for like two and a half years, and then Lindsay excused herself one day and went to the restroom and never came back. <laughs> really? <laughs> she That's did. So funny. Yeah, yeah. When she well, gave up, an those, opening for you to return. They have a good. Good. <laughs> Well, you know, she was blackmailing. She had photos. Yeah. She was blackmailing, and once she gave up those photos. It was that like, was it. Uh, wow. Went to the ladies' room, never came back. Wow. So, I, love, I, mean, <laughs> I love how soaps did that. Like, you know, the kids would go upstairs, and then, yeah. they, wouldn't come, and then they would come, come down, down like 10 years old. Yeah. 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 That happened to Philip. He yeah. did. He was yeah. five. He just came back and was like, oh, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it is cool. So then, you know, they, the Bells created Bold and Beautiful, mm-hmm. and, um, um, you know, they asked me to do the role of, of Margot. And, I mean, that was an incredible experience because it's an off, you know, you're starting off a yeah. show. Yeah. It was really 
really a unique, unique experience. Yeah. And um, I loved it. The show was based around fashion, you mm -hmm. know, and mm -hmm. I'm playing a fashion designer and I was a costume designer. So it was, you know, right yeah. in my wheelhouse. It was, yeah. it was great. And that show became so huge internationally that we got to take all kinds of fabulous trips no. all over the world. Yes. Yeah, that was, that was really great. I mean, it was really unique. I mean, and I owe the Bells a lot. I mean, they really gave me my start, you yeah. know, so they'll forever be special to me for that. And there was a time where um, you went back to Bold and the Beautiful I, to reprise the role. I did. I remember that being kind of like a huge, like, oh, because you were with Days, but they, like, switched you out. They switched out. So I, I, I guess it. they would offer that they would switch me out, and then at the time, Joe Mascolo mm -hmm. was working at B&B, &B, and that he could switch over as, you know, they could borrow him for Stefano. Yeah, if yeah. They needed okay. to. So it was pretty unique. It was, yeah. it was really, you know, it was pretty cool that they did that and allowed me to, to do it. And I went back because my son Mark mm -hmm. <laughs> was suddenly an adult <laughs> and was coming back to his town so yeah. um, they brought Margo back but it was interesting too because while I was on that show um, I got pregnant twice <laughs> and I did have two kids and one they wrote in and one the first time no let's see the no, second time they didn't write in but the first mm -hmm. time they did and that oh, wow. ended up being baby Mark yeah, okay. and my son actually did play my baby <laughs> on the show ah, yeah it, it was pretty cool yeah, yeah. Do, did you have any uh interesting fan moments uh because since you've been on daytime or part of daytime for a while like do you have any interesting fan encounters that what do you mean <laughs> well i was very well behaved when she arrived i'll say you that <laughs> well, you know, the, so i was containing myself <laughs> we, we've had uh previous people on the show and and they've had fans come up and it's always doing like that one storyline where they're like I can't believe you're doing this yeah. and blah 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 and you there's a moment for you probably or for you guys where you're like wait a minute wait what's happening and it's like oh they think I'm yeah that okay. character did you ever have like no I mean actually moment? No. Oh, good. Because <laughs> I, 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 fear, I fear for you because like, some, right. <laughs> some people may come up to Kate and be like, No, like, they, they don't. Because, okay, you know, good. Kate's pretty intimidating. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, it's usually the opposite. I have to say, no, actually, you can talk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Um, um, not that person. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we could have a good conversation together. Yeah. But, I, you know, I haven't had those kind of experience. I mean, only like that one time at the Fan Fan. Yeah. The person definitely didn't like me. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know, and every once in a while, you know, you can yeah. tell. Like, yeah. there's a group of people, and everyone's talking to you about Kate, and then there's one person standing back there. Like, <laughs> you know that's the one that's probably like you right. but, but that's cool yeah. you know you don't have to like my character you know and there's a lot of people who love to hate me mm -hmm. you know and that's another thing and I'm sure there's outright haters but you know even you've been doing it as long as I am. It's yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, if you're watching, that's cool. Yeah. For, you know, whatever reason. And, um, you know, my experiences have been all pretty good. Real you know, good. pretty good. You know, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have to say that. Because there have been some doozies, I tell you. Well, I was going to, as it kind of, I guess, in that wheelhouse of the of evil, evilness in Salem, <laughs> uh, Miss Vivian Alamein. Oh, oh yeah, yes. Louise with, Sorrell. Yes. yes, who I also adore. Oh, me too. Um, so I was just going to ask you, like, working with her, and how was? At least you didn't get buried alive. <laughs> so, at least, I, yeah, that was. That was uh, yeah. So that's good. So yeah, you're another doing something actress right. that. That's true. Yeah. I mean, she did take your child. I know, but she did. Yeah. She did. <laughs> she did, and she implanted it yeah. into her brain. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Oh, I love it's these crazy. conversations. But then again, if she hadn't caused that plane to crash, I would never, you know, then, then the first Kate, you yeah. know, ended up in the ocean. Yeah, right. Exactly. So I got to come back. Um, it, it was great working with her. You she know, she seems take, like a oh, she is a hoot. She's such a gracious lady, and she um, she has so many always creative ideas about things. And um, we had some incredible... <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredible cat fight. I mean, I just remember that because I we, we didn't do that. I'm both beautiful very often, right, you know. Right. But on you know days of our lives, that was the thing, man. Yeah. You know, you get down the there on the fights. ground. Yeah. And you First time I saw stunt people, I thought, what? What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> get these stunt people, you know. But I mean, it was crazy. Yeah. And I, I think like the first thing I think I I threw a pot of. 
stew over her head or something. Okay, yeah. I mean, her milk. I don't know. There were, it was a bunch of crazy stuff. And I and Louise wasn't a real fan of that. So right, right. I, I, yeah, I, she, I can see that. Yeah, she wasn't a fan of it. So it was always kind of fun because you know, really having to talk about it yeah. and how we can make this crazy thing happen and yeah. still be in reality, you know. But uh, we had great times together. Some really, really great stories. Yeah, I yeah. just that whole. I think that that was probably my favorite. Kate time was yeah. that was that whole thing yeah. with her with mm-hmm. Philip with Vic, it with was Philip like, yeah it was intense just, man yeah, it was it was, it was really on. really intense and then she came back and mm-hmm. and we did a li- in fact we had a, when she came back there was a cat fight yeah. and you know I remember cake I think we got thrown into a cake and oh. uh, <laughs> smeared cake all over cake all over me and you know. <laughs> Oh, I love it. You got to love a good cat yeah. fight on days. I, yeah, I love those moments when, like, there's, like, a, a standoff, and then it's like, you bitch, and it's like, whoosh, and it's like, whoa, oh, my God. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, and some of those slaps are pulled or, like, stage slaps, yeah. and others aren't. Yeah. You know, and there's one. <laughs> have there been some real slaps that oh, have Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. There's one that Allie and I have. <laughs> we've had a lot of slaps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Punches, yeah. slaps. And um, we were running really late, you know, on the day, and they were really behind, and we were going to have a rush, rush, and we're going straight to tape. That means no rehearsal, folks. Yeah. Wow. No rehearsal. Yeah. And I was like, we're going to have to slap. And slapping usually takes a little bit. Yeah, the yeah. Where, yeah. where you can. Yeah. And I said, you're just going to have to slap me. I'm like, oh, man, I don't want to slap me. You just slap me. You just have to slap me. And I'm like, I don't want you. She said, really? And then I'm like, Really? <laughs> you don't think I won't slap you? I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> so we did. It was like, Urgh. and I think you can always kind of tell because yeah. the other person's are, oh. <laughs> you know. Can't but, fake um, that reaction, right? No, I know. Although I'm kind of used to it because in stage, I mean, sometimes some people would have like funny slaps, but I was used to doing real slaps. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at this time, we're going to take your questions live. For those of you who are watching, you guys have been anxiously waiting to talk to the very lovely and beautiful Lauren Coslow, and I don't want to take that away from you. So you can call us right now at 424-253-0749. Again, that's 424-253-0749. And um, ask your question, give a comment, make sure you are nice. That is always <laughs> the rule here. You have to be nice. Uh, no, we I haven't had anybody not I, be I nice, said so. everyone was. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, don't make me a liar. Uh, Will, is this Willa wants me in to here? Oh. motion. No. <laughs> Willa is one of our fans. She, oh yeah, Willa has been watching she's days been for watching about since 50 years the very now. first episode. Yeah. Oh really? Who's yeah. this? Willa. Uh, Willa. She's in the chat Willa. room. Willa oh. Sargent. Oh, yes. fantastic. Yeah, so she wanted me to make sure I, I yes. let you know that she's been she's watching. She's been watching since the since beginning. the beginning of the Sands and the Hourglass. Yes. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yes. I, so I was trying to remember back. I, I, I feel like the bow, like when Bo took hope like when she was going to get married and rode off with the motorcycle I think that's about when I started watching because okay. mm-hmm. um, I was watching Santa Barbara thank you A. Martinez we're going to get into that because oh, I'm can having we, can a panic we get attack into already that? oh my gosh oh I know oh, that man completes me <laughs> I know and he got my quote of the week last week just for saying his name yes. Yes. oh I know he's such a good Okay, I'm gonna check. Uh, Hashtag Longmire. Have you been watching him on Longmire? I, I'm going to now. Oh, I didn't. What kind I didn't, of fan are you? I know. I know. <laughs> are you kidding? Well, I, binge, said, I binge watched. Because I made a comment about this, and uh, somebody in the chat was like, "He has to keep it for the show." Yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Oh, I didn't even know." So oh, wait till you see him on the show. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm pimping. Yeah, I'm so. pimping the show. <laughs> <laughs> and we we noticed a little thing between yeah. Kate and uh, I know. Lucky Lucky. And Eddie. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And that's all it took was just a raise of the glass. That's like, all I it see took. You over there. Kate's got it. I know. I know. Such a good actor. Well, we He's have a, a caller now. Caller, uh, you are now live with us on AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hi, it's Carolyn Topol. Oh, I'm hi, Carolyn. Connecticut. Hey, Carolyn. How are you? I had the pleasure of meeting Carolyn uh, this past weekend for a Boston event. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, she was lovely. You were lovely, Carolyn. Oh, I thank you. You're a lovely cute, Tony. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, you're on live with, with Lauren. Do you have a question or a comment for her? Um, yeah, I have a couple. First of all, Lauren, I've been watching Days over 35 years, and I thought you were a wonderful addition when you came on and took the role of Kate. Thank you. It was, it was Unlike seamless, some people. in my opinion. <laughs> I know, I like 
like that. I like that. It was the first ten minutes. So right. <laughs> it was it was touch and go, but I, I, it was okay. More handsy. <laughs> no, I'm not handsy. They're here. Thank you very much. Um, and my question is, um, what was your least um, favorite storyline that you like? You saw the storyline, you were like, "This is so not a Kate storyline." <laughs> was there something that you ever think rendered like that it was going to work for you? And it, it, I mean, I think all your storylines have ultimately worked for you. But was there one that you sort of thought was kind of bizarre? Are you trying to get me in trouble? I was just going to say. <laughs> she's not going to answer that, Carolyn. <laughs> That's a hard one. Well, I think it's it's exactly how you put it. Yeah. That even some that I might have had questions about, they worked out in the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm left with fond memories. Yeah. I mean, you know, just generally, <laughs> very generally, <laughs> there's a, okay. you know, sometimes, you know, you do read things and you think, ah. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You know, really? Would Kate do that? Yeah. You know, so, but it's my job to find a way yeah. for Kate to do that. Yeah. You know, and, mm -hmm. and so, you know, I have favorite, sto you know, stories. I have some that are less that I wasn't happy with. You mm -hmm. know, normally it's when Kate isn't uh, in the full control. You know, mm -hmm. there, there's sometimes that I okay. just, you know, those are the ones that kind of bother me. You know, Someone just said, please like, say the Clyde Weston debacle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, well, I, I was, I was going to say Kate and Clyde Weston, that she didn't see him as clearly as she did pretty soon really surprised me. No, yeah. she didn't. No, she didn't. And, you know, and then that's something I'm wondering, would she? But you have to remember you're seeing the whole picture. Right. She's not. Exactly. She doesn't know what happened okay. with yeah. the kids, you know. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes that's hard because as an audience member, you know, you have all the clues, you know. Mm -hmm. She didn't. I mean, she liked him. <sighs> You know, she's been through so much. And after all that stuff with Rafe and everything, I think oh, this yeah. was just like a diversion. Mm -hmm. She liked that he seemed to have this hunger, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Not just for her. Yeah. But, um, you know, he, he, he was ambitious. Mm -hmm. And I really felt like she was thinking she could use that. Yeah. You know, yeah. she could use him. Okay. And he obviously had some money. He had connections. You know, he went to her. So he knew about you. I think there's a lot of stuff that happened off camera that we tried to infer. Mm -hmm. You know, she was giving him help with, you know, with her Demira connections. And uh, she was helping him with stuff. So I think there was a lot more there. I think it is unfortunate for him. Yeah. You know, because James Reed is such a wonderful Amazing. actor. I right. loved yeah. working with him. I yeah. think he could have been terrific. But with the whole abuse of the daughter, just made him, yeah. it just, it was hard to come back from that. Yeah. And, you know, I really yeah. wished, you know, so that's not, that part is in my storyline, but I, I really wish that hadn't happened. I don't think that was necessary, yeah. Yeah, you know, at all. And I kept on mm -hmm. thinking it was going to turn out to be his henchman that yeah, did mm -hmm. it and that she remembered it incorrectly and that he's protected or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that just kind of killed it and gave everyone kind of a, you know, yeah. bad taste. Yeah. Bad, yeah. 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 And and I just have to say, I wanted to thank you because you added humor to a storyline that could have gone really south, in my opinion. Oh, thank but you. when when Kate and Sammy and Gabby killed Nick the first oh, time. Yeah. I, I, I used to get such a giggle out of everything Kate would throw into that. Oh, you my were, God. The timing was priceless. It was hilarious. Thank you. The time, Thank I just you. Loved it. Well, you know, you ask him my favorite storyline. Yeah. That's is definitely like the favorite group of scenes, yeah. scripts. Yeah. It was it's so much fun, and they built that incredible set for yeah. us yeah. just yeah. for that with just the river. Yeah. Oh, man, we all love that. Yeah. <laughs> we love the hell out Blake of that. Blake may not have yeah. liked it so Blake, much. <laughs> you know, Blake is so professional. I think Blake did love it. Yeah, he didn't exactly. care because that was some dead weight we were carrying. He was just like totally into it. But thank you. Yeah, I love doing those scenes. Awesome. Thank you, Carolyn. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Yes, and thank you for calling in and uh, make sure you keep watching us on audition days every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. I remember those those scenes uh, as well, and I remember thinking with Gabby, this was all new for her. Yeah. Like, and, yeah. and you and, <laughs> and she the one who got put in jail. Yeah. And, I know. And, and for you guys, there. it was just kind of like, listen, we've been there, done that. Like, girl, oh, yeah. you gotta chill. Yeah. Gotta get it together. I know. Get it it was so great. I mean, there's sometimes when they just get the essence of characters and they did with those yeah. scripts that was Kate and Sammy and it's so totally. true once we saw that like 
been there, done that. Yeah, we can yeah. handle all that. For you know, sure. we, it was like, we're we can take handle, care of it. We can keep a secret. Yeah. Like you are losing it. Like keep mm-hmm. calm. Keep calm. <laughs> yeah, and I love it when they when they keep that in the script. So yeah. that's yeah. who these women are. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we have another caller. Uh, welcome to After Buzz TV Spotlight on with uh, Lauren Coslo. You are on live. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Emma. I'm calling from International Falls, Minnesota. Hello, Emma. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Doing Good. great. Good. Do, you, do you have a question or comment for Lauren? Yeah, I'm such a huge fan of yours, Lauren. I loved your work with James Reed. Thank you. Um, and as Clyde, it was. I was so glad though when you uh, finally wised up to his character. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It was hard for me because I really liked him so much. Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I, did, I didn't want him to go, but I did like that you're. I know. Kind of yes. It out. Yeah, that she um, did. But my yeah. question is sorry? No, no, I agree with you. Yes. <laughs> um, my question is were there any actors or characters that you really would have liked to work with as Kate on the show that didn't really get explored much? Um, because there's so many that you have worked with, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> so In one way or another. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I always wanted to work with with Teo, Teo Penglis, mm. you know. Yeah. And, and a little bit, she worked with Tony and Andre. I mean, but I, I always thought, you know, he his character intrigued me. I didn't mm. really get to work with him yeah. um, very much. Um, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Crossing fingers. Crossing fingers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, jeez, I'm not trying to think about it. You know, like right now, like we have A. Martinez mm-hmm. coming in. You know, I'm really hoping that <laughs> she doesn't work with him. Uh, um, I don't, oh, jeez. You know, I really, I, I enjoyed this stuff when Drake and I got to work together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that was good. That was kind of a surprise, yeah. you know. Um you know, I, I, I don't know. I, what about you guys? Can you think of anyone? Am I? Have I been to oh. with way too many? Yeah. So you, you, Who would have been? Gee. I'm just trying to think of somebody that you have oh, spent much time with. I know. Matt Ashford. Oh. He's dead. Oh, He's dead. Boy. Now you're dead. <laughs> That's that's another one that, oh, that he likes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bring Jack back. <laughs> bring Jack back. Well, I would have liked to. He's he's another like really I'm good still actor. Keeping my fingers he's crossed. He's got crashed he's... in an elevator. Okay, here's my thing. But maybe there Hear was me... an escape hatch. Hear yes. me out. We never saw that happen. Roman comes in and that's says true. he died. Yeah. He could be oh, undercover. He's passionate. Oh, he's I'm very, very passionate, passionate, passionate about that. That's <laughs> true. Until you see. Because you never saw him, and well, they never go to see him. That's true. Yeah. That's true. They just say that's that. true. I'm just saying. It's I literally got on YouTube and I was like, I'm watching this again because I know that there's an out, there's a way to bring that's him back. That's true. Yeah. I mean, it's always hard when you mention someone who's part of a couple, though. Yeah. You know, and that's what's great about Kate because she was never like, right. oh, a couple. I'm available. But you know, it doesn't mean it has to be romantic. I would right. definitely would like to have worked I you with guys him. Could work with the spectator together. We could. We, yeah. Yes, I think you used they to work did. The spectator. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I think they worked together. Yeah. So you know, he would have been one that I missed. Deborah. That's why I didn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Emma, thank you so much for thank calling you. in and make sure. Emma, you do you have an in. idea of who yeah. of who you would um, like to see Kate with or honestly, work with? Anyone you worked with has just been great. I really enjoyed your yeah. storyline with oh, um, lucky. Gabby and and uh, Sammy. So yeah. any kind of you know. Girl pairing is always I, fun. You know, because actually, you take down the bad guy. I'm so glad you said that because I went right to the man pairing, <laughs> <laughs> and I really shouldn't have. Because I would love to work um, with Christian. You know, Christian and I are friends. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and I think Hope and Kate. Yeah, I would you guys like don't to see. really. No, we oh, yeah. don't. I would love to do that. You know, we well, have a little, if this like, whole rape thing. Because oh. <laughs> we're not we're not stupid over here. Yeah. Now, <laughs> right. We see the writing on the wall, mm. so hmm, maybe yeah, maybe because that would be gr- that would really be fun. Yeah. I'd like to do. I'd like to work yeah. with her more. Yeah. Oh, nice. That, I never thought about that pairing. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but I feel like if Kate's involved and like Rafe may be involved, then somebody's getting poisoned. 
<laughs> Don't get on Kate's bad side. Kate, Kate, Kate has moved on. Kate has moved on. Okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Well, thank you, Emma, for calling thank in, you. and make sure you keep watching us every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Dish and Days. I will. Thanks so much, guys. You have a great afternoon. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Well, um, speaking of of working with with people, uh, you work with your husband um, on the show. He's now uh, the head makeup yes, artist he's there. Yes, head, he's head of makeup and hair, yeah. How is that working? Well, on, let me just say your hair and makeup always looks amazing. Always on point. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You hear that, Nikki? <laughs> but it always does. That's true. Um, <laughs> um, it was, well, it, the funny thing is that I had done my own makeup for, <laughs> for like almost 20 years. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so it was a real transition, you know, having so to give it in that up giving it over does but he do it at home for you too no no <laughs> well he used to uh -huh. but we used to fight about it a lot because <laughs> he actually taught me how to do it then uh -huh. you know once you, you teach a person how to bake bread they, yeah, <laughs> they exactly. have their own recipe exactly so you know that's what happened I wanted to do certain way so he just stopped doing it so when he came to the show I was like oh <laughs> I don't know. That's how I do. It. But it, it was at a time when we were transitioning too into the whole high def thing, mm -hmm. and he's such a, he's so great at it. Yeah. And, and everyone's makeup has been brought down and mm -hmm. everything. So it was like it was perfect. So now yeah. we're, I'm very happy to sit in that chair. You know, <laughs> six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have someone else do it. Yeah, have someone else do it. Did you know that that he was coming? Like, was there a discussion? Like, is this okay if I come on? Or like, how did that transition? work for him to be on the on the show well I mean that was all you know between him and the show oh good <laughs> so yeah it really had nothing to do with me but um I, I think, I'm trying to think if there was one time I was like is this cool it's cool yeah. but it, it, it is cool because we had worked together so we worked together on my yeah. um you know even on Bold and Beautiful he gave me a look for that so mm -hmm. you know it was uh it's kind of our careers have been intertwined over the right. years so, so yeah. Yeah. When, when you worked at YNR was it like that's before, where we, before you got together was it like I can't wait to see him. Was that what? You can tell me. It's okay. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Oh, I totally am. <laughs> Mark made Lauren blush. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like you said it. <laughs> You've been there. I have. I, have. I sit in the Days Rise parking lot and go, there's Billy Flynn. <laughs> uh, I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, it was. Only, only it was weird because in the beginning, I was um, like dating someone else, so oh, I would actually okay. sit there like early, and it's like when you're sitting in a, a bar, except you're not drinking, right? And mm -hmm. um, you're just talking to the bartender about, oh, and I'm dating this guy, and he's and like this nice. and that. Yeah. So it would be like Nikki, like he's wearing my makeup. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh no, you know. Yeah. So and then he started helping me. Well, you should. And he said after a while, I was like, he wanted to, like, what the hell? Why am I her like her best friend? You know, <laughs> it's like this needs to change. Yeah. So you know, and it did. Yeah. Wow. And then it was cool. And then, and then it was like all blushing in his chair. So that's a short version. I know. I gotta ask her about. It. And your daughter's name, Millie Kate. Millie Kate. It's Which? a. It's a. It's Amelia Katarina. Okay. And but we always called her a Millie Kate. Kate. Okay. And she's now shortened it to Kate. Okay. Oh. You know. Okay. I know because her professional name is Kate. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. We're like, yeah, oh. of course she did. Oh, of course she, of course she changed it to Kate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that just dawned on me. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> now, how are you feeling about uh, the changes that are being made to days now? Because back a few months ago, there was a huge article from King Corday letting us know that there are going to be so many changes and writer changes happening mm -hmm. um, with days. And now with the storyline of the necktie killer, um, like how, how are you feeling about the changes that, that have happened on days recently? Well, you know change is always happening yes. you know, I just start it certainly I've seen lots of changes mm -hmm. since I've been on the show you know people have been on longer I've seen them so yeah. you know it is just a um, it, it's kind of what happens mm -hmm. um, you know uh, our last writers I mean they were great you know Chris Witzel and Gary um, Tomlin and you know you've been an executive producer and yeah. you know but then there comes a time for a change and mm -hmm. you know you bring in um, our new writers who are you know f fantastic and mm -hmm. um, I know they were 
I was talking about the high depth. So there's, yeah. there's, there's changes everywhere. There's a change in the look of the show, oh, you know, yeah. in the the pace of the writing. You know, mm-hmm. the kind of story, the telling story is faster now. Yeah. Um, bringing back castmates. You know, some leave, some come back. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's it's all positive. You mm-hmm. know, ba- you know, it's always sad when there's a transition and a new regime because you you know you're saying goodbye to people that you've worked with. You know. Yeah. And, um, but I'm I'm super optimistic um, yeah. about where the show's going, and there's just um, a renewed energy and commitment, and mm-hmm. you know to have Ken Corday um, talk about the show that way. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's it's huge, you know, because yeah. he's committed to the show. Yeah. And I think the important thing is, is to remember about. Um, especially this format it's the format we see everywhere we mm-hmm. see it on nighttime we see it on cable premium yeah. channels I mean it's the continuing drama long for dra- long format yeah. Uh, yeah. drama and people love to see it and so um, you know we've been doing it for 50 years we just want to make sure we're doing it in a way now that's contemporary and that will people right. continue to tune in and and maybe we'll get new viewers too well, I was saying I well, we went to we went to Martha Madison's premiere for mm-hmm. her web series and I was talking to her about everything and I was just saying that I, I, I obviously I watch it so it's yeah. not like I have that much of an issue with it but sometimes I get frustrated because it's like I I understand why things are the way they w- are because of how television used to be mm-hmm. so you had to repeat yourself you had to do this over again you had to keep talking about relationships and stuff mm-hmm. but now I feel like if you want to find something out, you just Google it. Like, I don't need everything repeated back to me so much. So I kind of like that the stories are now moving a little bit quicker. Okay. I still think there's room to get rid of some extra exposition, exposition, exposition. (laughs) But that's just my personal... But you know, I I think we are going to be getting rid of it. Okay, good. Yeah, we definitely are. Because they are... Because even now when I'm looking at a script, I'm like, what... Wait a minute. It, uh, you know, so there's okay. there's more that's happening off screen, okay, good. which I think is good. I mean, it's it's when you're used to doing it all mm-hmm. on screen. I mean, it's like on, and you have to get caught up with it. Oh, what did I do in the last scene? Okay, but this last script, but the, you know, all of this must have happened. But I I do see that it's it is necessary. We okay. need to we need to move it along because you know the audience that's what they're used to seeing everywhere now. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now, like the 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 continuing dramas like Empire and right. all these other shows are like they just ha- they just I mean? move they just move and they go they and move. that's what people like and I yeah. think if anything it's going to help get yeah. more Oh, I think so too. You know? I think yeah. so too. So. You know, and now and now that we're getting used to it, you know, it's it's fun to do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. too, because you're not kind of labored down. With now like they need to repeating. stop this filming five months in advance. You guys should get a five-month vacation <laughs> and then come back and just pick up there and none of this five months in advance. Well, you don't have to do the five-month vacation. <laughs> <laughs> that, might, that might be a little too long. We don't have to do that. But I mean, we do take a lot of time. Like, we like we, we take for three weeks, then we're down for a week. And okay. three. So maybe we can stop taking those breaks. Right. You know, yeah. just, and then we get caught up slowly. Yeah, slowly. But I, I do agree with that because, you know, it's hard. Be, because once it airs, you know, you're seeing the audience's reaction like to a particular yeah. story or to a pairing and you know if it's five months later well it's too late it's too you know, that person might exactly. be off the show and yeah. maybe the audience loved them yeah. Yeah. or maybe they hated them and now we're stuck with five you know months of thank them. you so, <laughs> that you know, seems I'm, to be more the case for me yeah <laughs> What? So, you know, I, I agree. I agree yeah. with that. You know, and I don't know. Maybe they'll address that in the future. Good. Well, we have a caller, and I'm hoping it's the person that I think it is. Hello, caller. Welcome to After Buzz TV Spotlight On. What's your Hello, name? everyone. This is James Lott Jr. Oh! James. So, Lauren, this is our, our other Hi. co-host, James. The historian. Um, yes, the historian. Um, I'm excited. And uh, he, unfortunately, is out of town, but I saw that he was in the chat, and he was like, oh, I couldn't get through, and I was like, call again, and when I saw it come up, I was like, I hope it's him, so Yay. that he didn't miss out on the chance to, to oh. talk to you. So, hello, yes. James. Hello, you guys. Miss Lauren. Yes. You are fabu. <laughs> We're going hashtag Divalicious. I love that. Thank you. I just, I am, I am such a long time fan. I know you and I are only like, you know, in our early twenties, but that's a long time. <laughs> yes, long time fan. Oh, I so love it. I'm so, it's so, it's such right now. It's just a joy, and I live in gratitude right now to even speak to you right now. Oh, I love <laughs> you. you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you too. 
You guys are doing a great job. Mark, you made her blush. <laughs> yeah, he know, did. Right? Legit. Legit. <laughs> he did. Hey, James, I, I, I can't believe that. James, I have a question for you because we were we were going through the history of the character of Kate and we can't yeah. figure out when ch or why she changed her name to Roberts. Do you know? Well, I remember that when her kids were taken away from her, from Curtis. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and then she went on, and then she ended up being pregnant with Bill Horton's child, which was Lucas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lucas. Uh, while you were on the run, and I believe you just chose the name Roberts. Oh, because she was on the run. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. You're on yeah. the run. To stay away just, from, yeah. The, yeah. Okay. I believe you were just on the run. I can't. I don't. I don't think there was. A, they gave a specific reason. Yeah. Like, I think I kind of remember could, that. Yeah. From twenty. <laughs> yeah. And there was. And there was because they would have, at this point, I think, would have brought up who was Mr. Roberts or who was this Robert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, uh, let me ask you a question, since you're a longtime fan. Yeah. You know. Yes. Um, don't you think Lucas's last name should go back to Robert? Yes. I, it's, it's hurtful that he's a Horton. Yeah. He's calling himself a Horton. I, I, like, I, I like Lucas Roberts. I like Lucas Roberts. I agree. You know, I totally agree. Lucas Roberts sounds better. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you kind of reminded me. I mean, we're on the run together, for yeah. God's sakes. Yeah. I mean, he's a Roberts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Bill's not around. <laughs> Bill's not around. What well, you know, right you know, now. One of the things I love about, about the relationship between Kate and Lucas is that you guys are mother and son, but in some ways, your partner's in crime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your friend. Yeah. Your friend. It's so true. So that relationship's been played up to death, and I love that. And it's like, I think he should have stayed Roberts because it is. it's like a camaraderie. Well, maybe no, he'll... I agree. It was almost like I remember when it happened because it was during a period when they were estranged, and it was literally like a slap in the face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that was yeah. hurtful. So I almost felt like once they got together, like he could have taken the name back. But I, yeah. I, but I said, I, I, I think I said this last week, I loved your guys' scene with Will. Or with, with everything with Will happening mm -hmm. and how it kind of brought you guys right, back together. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, it, it was did. like, it, and yeah. I always say this, like, sometimes they come up with these really contrived reasons to get people back together yeah. or to mm -hmm. tear people apart. And that was so believable. Yeah. And so, like, just like, yeah. uh, heartbreaking. You were just yeah. like, yes, patch it up. You know? Yeah, yeah. nothing Be, else matters. Yeah, <laughs> nothing else matters. <laughs> I know. Thinking yeah, about and that would have been a so great moving. time for him to take the name Roberts back. It yes. would have been a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. This is why I should be this writing for the show. So <laughs> I know see, you have a little pull. <laughs> if they weren't five months ahead, you you could have went back and suggested that, and we could have had that. Think of it this way: right if now. I'm writing for the show, imagine the amazing stuff I'm going to write for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be you, and Billy, and, Billy, and Lisa Lucas, Renna, and, and Lucas, and then, <laughs> it's going to be Matt and Maxine's son. <laughs> and Maxine's son. This is Maxine's son. Oh. I, I, so, I so want a role on the show as Maxine's son. Oh my God, I think it would be, be amazing. so amazing. <laughs> I can talk see it now. Talk about another uh, uh, mother-son relationship. Right? No. We could dominate the hospital. <laughs> No. They mentioned it this I week. Know. I know. I know. Did you hear what I, I lied to you? That's not what they said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I said because he's always saying Max. <laughs> he's always saying oh, what's no. my Max and son. So I was like, I messaged him because they did mention her this yeah. week. And uh, I said, yeah, they mentioned her. They said that she had some disease and she's not allowed to have children. And he was like, oh. <gasps> I was like, well, and then, and then I was totally like, minor detail, one phone call. Phone call, we'll we'll take care of that. We'll take care. Care. Like, oh, like no. she thought she couldn't have kids, but look who popped up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I was messing with you. Right. Well, James, thank you for calling in. We have to wrap things up with Lauren. But, of course. Um, well, but, I just want to say, Miss oh. Lauren. You and I owe each other a hug when I see you in person. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. I would love that. Yes. yes. And that we is going to happen this Sunday when we come oh, to the Oh, yeah, we're going to come Sunday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I will see you there. Looking forward to the hug. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye, James. Guys. Bye. Bye, see you James. Soon. Bye, -bye. Um, Speaking of the, of the book tour, Days... Uh, celebrating their 50th year and they've come out with uh, another book yes. uh, celebrating the 50th uh, yes, anniversary. Yes, a celebratory book. Yeah. And um, you guys are taking it on the road We again. are taking it on the road and we're starting it off um, this Sunday at The Grove yes. in LA. We'll be there. Yes. Yay. And then we go into New York City, to mm -hmm. New Jersey, to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yeah, I saw the, that. The whole lot of cities. <laughs> yeah. If you just go to days, hashtag days 50. Well, I, I, Not 50th, I, 50. Yeah, I, I say I reposted you, where you were going to be 
on my Thank Facebook you. page. <laughs> so if you want to know where she's going to be, That's go to my, yes. Mark, uh, the Mark J. Freeman on Facebook, and you'll see her dates. Oh, cool. So, yeah. cool. Yeah. And make sure I actually got it from your page. So yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Marie. <laughs> and when you guys go, make sure you say hello to her because yes, she's please, so super sweet. Please, yeah. please come in. Yeah. Say hi. Get your book signed. It's a great book, too. They went yeah. to the archives. We were looking at it the other day. Um, Deidre and I did a little thing on the... KTLA. Yeah, KTLA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we had we hadn't seen the book yet, so we're you know sitting like this yeah. and yeah. going in the book, and we're about to, and we're like, oh, you're like cra- <laughs> so cracking, you're yeah. cracking up. Yeah, we were time. totally yeah. cracking up because it, it's yeah. made some amazing photos. Yeah. I was glad to see the blood wedding got in there. Oh, Kate's blood wedding. Did anyone remember the blood wedding? Yeah, yeah. Before Game of Thrones, <laughs> the blood wedding. So <laughs> it's in there. It's well, all in there. I, I hate that I missed out on uh, you and Deidre's trip to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I know, KTLA. I saw that too. I saw that and I was like, man, I so would have went with them for that. Oh, oh my God. I, tell our publicist, Maya, because she didn't want to go, but she did. Oh. <laughs> she was so busy because she's so busy doing yeah. the tour and everything. Yeah. And it was just like girls going there. Yeah. You know, it wasn't work. It's Deidre said, I have to bring you to this place. And yeah. then, and I guess when the show used to be down at Sunset Gower, they used uh-huh. to go there all the time. Yeah. And I hadn't been there before. I've never been either. In oh my 14 God. years of living in LA, I've never been. I've oh been, my God. I've and, been there a couple of and times. And you know, I'm a vegan. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Can't, can't be vegan there. Sister, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I couldn't. We just, we just ordered it, and it was damn good. Yeah, oh yeah. That I don't have vegan pizza rolls, I apologize. <laughs> There's no vegan pizza rolls. <laughs> I would have known. Not I actually almost, I was like, oh, I should Google to see if she had. I know. It's a yeah. big bore, isn't it's okay. it? I'm sorry. It's okay. about I'll, I'll leave <laughs> but, I, you know, I go back and forth. I've been vegetarian and vegan. Yeah. But, you know, when yeah. anything's special, I'm going to try it. You're right. going to try it. And yeah. I'm glad Good. you tried Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles because oh you cannot pass that up. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I was there during the daytime. Her at nighttime was a lot different. Oh, oh yeah. Like crazy. Yeah. 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 Um, so before we wrap things up with you, Lauren, um, if you could sum up your experience at, at days, how, I mean, how how would you? I mean, it's been such a an amazing and continues to be an amazing time. But like, how could you sum up your your time on on days? God, I mean, that, it is so huge. I mean, the first word that just when you're saying that is gift. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. this was a gift to me. Yeah. You know, really, just you know, getting the gig, getting to play this fabulous character, mm-hmm. um, to have all of the writers, and we've had a lot of them, you know, over the years, mm-hmm. you know, develop this character and write her the way they have. Yeah. You know, to Ken Corday, uh, Greg Ming, it's it's just, it's been an amazing, amazing ride, and, and it allowed me to, you know, to be in town, <laughs> have this job, you know, to have a family and have a regular home life, which is huge, yeah. you know. So I just keep on going back to gift. The whole thing has been a gift to me, and, yeah. um, and I hope that um, I've been able to give back, too, you know, give back to them for them trusting me with you know with this role, yeah. um, and to the audience too, who you know invest so much in the show. And um, I hope I have entertained you, oh, and I hope yeah, I continue definitely. to do it. You know, trust love me. you. Trust <laughs> me, you have entertained for the whole time that you, and you continue to entertain. Thank like you. I. I love to love Kate, and I sometimes love to hate Kate. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I I, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. That's my job. That's my job. Well, job Check well that. done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Done. Accomplished. Well, Lauren, thank you so much thank for, for coming you. in thank and chatting with me. us about your time on Days and, and everything that you have done. Like, we wish you nothing but continued success with the show and we hope that it's on for another 50 years. I do too. (laughs) I might not be on those shows. (laughs) I hope someone else is. Well, they can push you around a wheelchair with an ice cream don't you worry. I'm I'm good with it. Play a little rock and roll, I'll be fine. Before we head out, uh, let's find out where you guys can connect with all of us via social media. We'll start with Mark. Let them know Uh, where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L-O-R-A-Y-N-E-L-O-V-E and on Facebook backslash the Mark J. Freeman. And Lauren, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Lauren Coslow. And look for um, a Facebook page. A special shout out to Marie and Sherry. Thank you for all you do. 
Thanks, girls. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Lounging with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. And don't forget, every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a full recap of your favorite soap opera days of our lives right here. And you can follow us and like us on Instagram, Facebook, Dish and Days. We'll see you this coming Sunday for that full recap. Thanks, you guys. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.